Hello there everybody, welcome back to Try New Things where it is at the time of filming nearing the end of January and 25 degrees outside. But we want to get started planting inside the greenhouse, so what better day to install and try out a greenhouse heater. Now this is unfortunately my second take at doing a greenhouse heater video. So what happened in the first place is I essentially ordered uh, one of the cheapest greenhouse heaters you can buy on Amazon. And uh, yet the other day when I went to set it up, it was a perfect test day. It was 25 degrees Fahrenheit, freezing cold in here. And I was excited to get this video made and share with you how you can heat your greenhouse. But not only did the thermostat not work and continued to show error code, but I tried just the heater itself and the only thing that worked was the fan. The elements never heated up. So it was a complete failure, but you gotta love Amazon and their no hassle return policy. So went to the UPS store, shipped that back to Amazon for full credit, and then overnighted a slightly more expensive greenhouse heater to try out today. Now this one also manufactured in China, but at least it's through a U.S. distributor. It's by BioGreen, or distributed by BioGreen. And it's another 1500 watt uh, heater. Very similar to the first one I tried, but different thermostat. Hopefully this one will work. We're going to try it out right now and we'll let you know. And since it's an unseasonably warm January day here in Kentucky, uh, it looks like it's about 45 degrees in the greenhouse, so I'll come back this weekend when it's sub-zero, or sub-freezing, not sub-zero, and uh, finish up this video by giving a summary of how it's actually working to keep the greenhouse at temperature. So stick around to the very end. You're going to want to see my thoughts, assuming this heater works. Stay tuned. Well, I'm taking this as a positive sign. It's not uh, flashing an error message. Now I did just take this out of the Jeep, so it started at 60 degrees. It's starting to fall back as to what the current temperature in here is. Now there may be a flicker on the camera, but it's reading 58 degrees currently. And I've got it set on Fahrenheit. And I'm going to set the temperature at 65, just to make sure that I can check out the heating element. That's not the temperature I'm going to keep it at in here in the greenhouse, but I want to make sure this works. And then I'll scale back the temperature uh, once I'm done testing it. So I'm at least temporarily going to set it up here on this uh, water barrel. Uh, hopefully I'll find a more permanent home for it out of the way because I want to put a plant up here. But for the purpose of this test, this should do. So I'm going to go ahead, plug the heater into the thermostat. Turn it on heat. That is blowing some warm air. That's a good sign as well. And what I'm hoping is if I set the temperature below the current temperature in here that this will automatically shut off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Let's see what happens. There we go. Shuts right off. Perfect. So the heater works, the thermostat works, already a world of difference over the previous one I had. Before I recommend this fully though, like I said, I'm going to come back this weekend, see how it's doing at sub-freezing temperatures and what kind of temperatures it maintains here in the greenhouse. Now this greenhouse, like most of yours, probably isn't built to retain heat. Uh, it's not insulated in any way, so we're just going to have to see how it works out. So stay tuned to the next clip. And we'll see how this performs. So it's early Saturday morning. It's about 34, 35 degrees outside and freezing rain. Now I had left the thermostat set at 39. And the temperature, I don't know if it's going to show up in the almost dark, but it's 39 degrees in here. So what I'm going to do is turn up the temperature a little bit and uh, come back in about 30 minutes and see if this is warming up the greenhouse. And 
and the heater is just kicked on. So let's come back in a few minutes. All right, it's 45 minutes later. You can see it's still overcast, so no aid from the sun in warming up the greenhouse. It is a couple degrees warmer outside. I think it's up to around 38 outside and has warmed up nicely in here to 46. And if you remember, I set it at 49. So a couple degrees left to go for the heater to warm it up here before it shuts itself off. And just to show you here, I've got it set on max temperature and heat on the uh, BioGreen Palma heater unit. So it'll be interesting to see how much this runs to maintain the temperature once it reaches the temperature that I've uh, set it for. I'll have to check that out over time. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm content. I do have a heating solution for our greenhouse, so we can confidently start some seedlings in here over the rest of the weekend. So if you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them below. I'll be glad to respond to them. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next video, bye-bye.